A Centennial College International student who was killed by an alleged drunk driver was laid to rest today. He is the second victim in the incident. His family sending a strong message regarding the circumstances around his death. Gulzan Buharova speaking through a Russian interpreter. Drivers who uh, drunk and uh, sit uh, in a car, everyone has to stop them and uh, stop taking sounds of uh, other families. The mother holding back tears, describing the young son she lost unexpectedly two weeks ago. He was dreaming about this country. He was uh, dreaming to become a citizen of this country. 19-year-old Demir Kusain was an exchange student from Kazakhstan attending Centennial College to study robotics. He, along with two of his friends, were walking near Progress Avenue and Markham Road when a car ran through the intersection, mounting the sidewalk and hitting the three students. Kusain and another fellow international student were killed. I wanted it to be a mistake. I wanted it to be uh, a wrong number. As we try to absorb the sudden and tragic passing of a highly valued community member. Police say 40-year-old Michael Johnson was driving a 2014 Mazda going eastbound on Progress Avenue at a high rate of speed when he lost control and struck the men. Investigators say Johnson was allegedly impaired at the time of the crash. We have got to start taking driver behaviors incredibly seriously. We have a very low tolerance in the GTA for driver courtesy. It starts there, and then we've got to build on that. According to Toronto Police, as of December 23rd, law enforcement laid over 1,100 impaired driving related charges. On Christmas Day alone, they received 45 related calls. In York Region, police say they laid more than 1,700 impaired related driving charges last year, a 5% increase over the year past. Numbers this grieving mother says are far too high. Not only me who lost my son, but also all uh, humans lost their one of the best uh, person. The exchange student had only been in Canada for five months. His mother says this was his dream, to one day live in Canada. Today, she laid him to rest in the country he held so dear in his heart. It talked a lot about this country as one of the safest, one of the uh, best places to live in. Officials with Centennial College say they're establishing a scholarship in the name of the victims. Johnson, he's facing nine charges, including dangerous driving, causing death. Melissa Nakavali, City News.